Thank you, everyone. Am I audible? Yeah. So, uh, we were much delighted to have our first speaker. Now, in this fourth lunch session, uh, I welcome back, I welcome to all of you, all the students, the scholars, academicians, faculty members, independent scholars and all the other people. In the other end, I welcome all of you to this platform. Uh, the webinar, this national webinar is going on on the topic of post-COVID-19 scenario in digital education and hygienic precautions. Now we are very fortunate enough to have our second in the in this second session. Now let let us welcome our second speaker, Mr. Park Harikishan Jyoti, who completed MTech in structural engineering from Virmata Dijavai Technological Institute Mumbai in 2016. He has had industrial experience in structural design of industrial structure of the 
She has secured rank 1 in JPSC election with civil engineering in 2018. Currently, she has been working as a lecturer in the Department of Civil Engineering, uh, uh, civil engineering Sir Housing G Polytechnic Institute, Vatnagar, in Gujarat. In addition, she has been pursuing his PhD from Gujarat Technological University on the research area of concrete. For him, Digital learning is a passion and hobby, as his enthusiastic nature of learning digital education continued from his college days. We know you are very true, sir, that learning doesn't come to an end. So we are back here on the second session. Now, I would like to invite our speaker, Bart Harikishan Joshi, to deliver his valuable session. Thank you so much, sir. Over to you, sir. Please proceed with your talk. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Mitra. I hope I am audible. Yes, sir, you are audible. Sir. So please okay. proceed with your paper. First of all, I would like to thank J. Sidhaman, uh, the organizing team, for letting me, for giving me this opportunity present a webinar on one of my favorite topics that is digital learning. Uh, like he said that I have been pursuing or I have been taking this digital learning since my college days and I am happy to share some of my thoughts and some of the processes with you uh, in this webinar for effective learning in digital platform. So right away I would like to start the presentation. that the language is not a barrier. Uh, I'll be talking some points in the original language also that is Gujarati and Hindi. So uh, I think that is comfortable to everyone as it's a national webinar. Okay. So to start of course uh, let me just give a disclaimer that I have been uh, using many images and videos in this presentation and uh, they are only for this educational purpose. Uh, that do not change uh, any copyright. Okay, so let us begin. Uh, the contents of the webinar will be, first of all, will take a little warm up in understanding the two words the learning as well as the word digital learning. And then, uh, in this whole digital portion, uh, there is so much to learn. So, as a student, or as a faculty, or as a professional, what we have to choose to learn. That is the question here, and that will be discussed here in this presentation. After that, we will see various digital platforms along on which we can learn, or we can uh, uh, get knowledge. Then, uh, there are various platforms. So, how to choose which platform is better for us, which platform is suitable to us. So, we will discuss that also. And then, uh, for students as well as for faculty members, there is one suitable platform that we will uh, see in a demonstration. I will be showing high demonstration on how to use that platform. If you stay still and there is some good news for all of us that I will be sharing at the end of this presentation. Right? And then we will have some question and answer as usual. Okay. So, at this one, what is learning basically? So, as we have already attended the first webinar and then you are saying that learning is nothing but it is the process of acquiring new knowledge, right? New understanding or new skill. Now, this ability to learn is not only possessed by humans. If manushya ke andar hi hai, wo animal ke andar hai, wo machine ke andar bhi hai, we, have, we know that it is machine learning, right? So learning as per the hum manushya ke liye nahi hai, wo sab ke liye hai. Hum jante hai ki bandar bhi sikh leta hai ki agar gadi aati ke paas se road cross nahi karna chahiye, vagera vagera, right? So basically learning is a acquiring new knowledge and uh, this learning can be immediate. Right? For example, if you 
spreading A A B B grade likewise. Then we are querying some knowledge and skill. So education is a sub part of learning. Okay. So here is a paradox. That is here is some problem. Uh, well, education. The cost of education is rising very high. You know that for even kindergarten, that is L K G U K G, the fees are very high. When you hear the fees, they you say like, oh my God, fees are very high. Right? Uh, so uh, the education, the cost of education is increasing day by day. But uh, the cost of learning is very uh, low. That is, it is tending towards zero. Why? Because lots of learning materials are available online free. For example, if you want to learn how to cook. You can uh, search it on Google or any other uh, search engine, and you can learn to cook whatever dish you want to. Right? You don't need to go to some classes and uh, pay the fees there. So, while the education fees are very high, the learning has become very cheap or very uh, free. So, what are the various learning materials available? So, let's just have a look on that. For various uh, online materials available are some notes. You can get documents or PDF of some not whatever you wish. There are e-books. Uh, Kindle is the most preferable e-book where you can uh, really have good experience. Then there are audio books. You don't need it. Uh, don't uh, really need to read the book. Uh, it, it will you, it, you can just hear the books and learn, right? And there are lots of videos. And there are websites which may include all about. I think it, there will be not videos, audio books, etc. Right? And out of all of this. Online materials available. The best suitable source is video. Why? Because by video, by interaction, we can have more understanding of the subject. Oh, so uh, let us talk more about the video. There is some digital platform available for the video. Okay. So the government of India or the Ministry of Human Resources Development (MHRD) has initiated many uh, websites and many uh, initiatives that have been taken to make this online learning very effective. And uh, out of them are some of them are NPTEL, that is National Program on Technical and Enhanced Learning, which focuses mainly on the technical education. Then is uh, NIPTR, which is uh, for uh, Teachers training course. Then all these materials can be available on National Digital Library (NDL) in an e-content manner. Then there is uh, e-PG Pathshala for those for those who are uh, pursuing PG post graduation. This is useful for them. Useful for them. I mean, there are various e-books. Then there is Quora Prabha. That is the courses are being on C to H. You can directly watch them on from a TV. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, much more common to now for the primary and upper primary section. Then there is much uh, uh, or less known about uh, this platform called Swim. It is central move. Uh, Swim is a platform where all these courses are included in uh, one bundle, and uh, you can uh, get all these courses uh, irrespective of what you are talking about. It includes technical, it includes medical, it includes law. And everything. So, so I'm, I think it's the best platform for us to go and learn digital. Okay. So today is 3rd July, and just three days ago, that is on 30th June, right? On 30th June, uh, IIT Madras has launched an online degree program. It was launched uh, by our Education uh, Minister, and uh, uh, it was. Uh, in need of time, right? So the need of time, and uh, this uh, uh, online degree has started right now. You can see that it is for BSc, and soon it will also start for other courses also. So, uh, like these platforms, 
here for technical enhanced learning, right? Okay. So let us first uh, go into the front page. So uh, as I told, you have uh, professors from IITs and IISD that is prominent institute uh, of the uh, India. So you will have guest in class, Mr. Kuhn, no doubt. Then there are weekly assignments that uh, we have to uh, take and we have to uh, submit there for those assignments in some particular time. After the end of the course, there are exams that have to be given digitally at one particular center. It's the credit transfer as I saw after the completion of one course, uh, achieve the credit of that those subjects. If you local chapter, uh, if you are from GC the one I would like to say that G C the one is a, a local chapter of uh, this uh, book. Uh, so that is the uh, proud thing to have that local chapter. Then uh, there is a systematic approach as I discussed. Okay. So if you are in this page for the first time you can uh, use this button to register yourself. That only it requires is a few personal details or like you have to set a username, password and, and email address. So right now I have already registered. So let me show you. Normally, it starts with the uh, semester and it 
to go for a course based on Hattori. So that you have to, uh, you can compare or you can uh, have uh, more detailed information or knowledge uh, from school to college as well as from online platform. Right? Okay. It also shows at what level is being taught, right? It is for undergraduate level. Then it also will be at uh, PG level also. Then references are also made for books, website, etc. And uh, then there is a etc. Uh, of bio. Okay. So, as we are talking, let me tell you what will be the requirement of the certificate, right? So, there will be assignment weekly given here. So, uh, as you can see, there is an 8 week course. Right? So, for every week, there will be one assignment. So, in total, there will be 8 assignments. Right? So, the average score of those assignments out of 100%, it should be 25% or above. Right? Then, the final exam after the completion of this course, there will be an exam date will also may be announced here. Exam date it will be on 27 September. In normal situation, the date is fixed. Uh, in some exceptional situations like COVID 19, the dates have been postponed. Right? So in normal situation, uh, the data is already been uh, uh on this particular date only. Okay. So assignment ma, our budget is covered, right? Twenty-five percent. Exam ma, the hundred percent exam boy, then our budget is twenty-five percent covered. So our final score, this is that is twenty-five uh, percent of the exam plus twenty-five percent of the average. So in that way, you get a certificate, right? Now, what will be the criteria? The criteria will be the total marks should be more than 40, right? That is out of uh, 25, we, we saw that 25 percent go for some act. Out of 25, you have to score 10, and out of 75, you have to score 30. So out of 100, you have to score 40 marks to get both. So, uh, in this demonstration, we have seen how to open an account. We have so the 
this will focus on this area. For job seekers who, who are uh, professional and want to change their job or who are European, they can go for interpersonal skills as well as management skills. Whereas uh, we can use this digital learning also for sharpening our hobbies, for our fitness, right? for mind power and some physical strength. Uh, we can also use the platform to learn more about uh, DIY, that is do it yourself courses. Right? So let us explore each of them in detail. So I was telling about sharpening the existing knowledge, conceptual learning. Right? So conceptual learning is uh, what I was talking about. Uh, take one concept to try to understand. For example, uh, we all have, if you are an engineering student, or say you have cleared well, uh, then uh, if I ask the basic question, what is logarithm? It will be very difficult to explain that basically logarithm is a short one. Short one for most of multiplication. So, uh, many students are afraid of these terminologies, the logarithm, moment of inertia, and so much on. So, we can Use these videos, use this platform to make our concepts strong. That is called conceptual learning. The second example I talk about what is moment of inertia. You can see in, in this video uh, the practical exams are with, uh, with animation, it is, uh, they are able to understand us. Right? In, in, in this video, uh, the demonstration of what is moment of inertia, right? For uh, same shape is hollow, is different. Uh, solid is different, right? We know that. Uh, so that is also being demonstrated in this video. So there are these videos where you can make our fundamental knowledge strong. We can use this for any new knowledge, right? It can be an elective course or a course subject. Uh, as I saw, you can go in special learning method. If you go to YouTube, there are lots of playlists. And you can see that here, uh, there are 50 small videos and they are explaining in a special manner like what the video section video. So for this, I think NPTR or the square platform which we saw there is a very much better course for us. Then again you see that there are lessons 1 to 12, 13 to 25, there are in total 25 lessons. So this is for sequential learning. It helps us uh, to make a foundation and then on there we can create our building. Okay. Uh, software, you can uh, see that uh, it is very essential in modern age and very helpful in seeking good jobs. So particularly if you are an engineering student, there are different types of software for modulation and stimulation. MATLAB or Skylab for analysis, uh, branch, Ibanet, StatPro for design, ETAPS. These are uh, particularly for field branch. They may be different for different disciplines. For drafting, it is very much common for mechanical, electrical or civil. Then uh, decorating MS Office, right? Whatever discipline you belong, MS Office is a must to learn software, right? So uh, you can start from this MS Office and uh, you can make your interest grow and then you can learn other software as right? uh, You can see here uh, MS Office PowerPoint, right? There are various uh, presentations that we have to give during our uh, college days. So in this way we can make the animation and uh, make a presentation really good. You can uh, see on the right side these are some needle type presentation, here is uh, some infographic. Right? So there are many sources you can uh, YouTube it or you can Google it. You can get uh, many such channels that have helped you uh, uh, gain the knowledge regarding this process. MS Word again very much important to write report. You can see this, uh, uh, there are uh, quick learners for quick learners for uh, regional languages, right? Uh, from starting, uh, if you are uh, very new to this software, you can start from scratch, right? For report writing, uh, if, uh, for example, if I say that uh, uh, till now you have written 
lot of technical knowledge, that will be okay, but uh, you should be having knowledge of Excel, right? Particularly in civil, if you are dealing with uh, uh, design sheets, then knowledge of Excel is must, right? Apart from the technical knowledge. So you can see here also there are lecture series which includes words, right? And the videos may be of, uh, you can say, uh, 7 to 10 minutes. Uh, that will be very helpful to you. Okay, computer editor design drafting for growing. Yeah, uh, the very much so popular software is what our desk. Uh, its product is out of cash, right? So, auto desk is the company whose product is out of cash. And you can see that uh, it is uh, related to many threads, civil, chemical, electrical. And here also, you can see that there are series of structures, right? Okay. Uh, we have here these interpersonal skills, right? Uh, for friends who are in final semester and for those who are sitting the job, this is very most important. And uh, five tutors is not normally included in the curriculum directly. After syllabus, we directly need to interpersonal skills. Ah, interpersonal skills start now. But us, we have to focus on this, right? So practically, we focus on this. I mean, for skills, what are they? Yes, sir. इसलिए आप जब सिक्स सेमेस्टर में आते हैं या फिर डिग्री में हो तो पांच सेमेस्टर में जब आते हैं आप उसके बाद जॉब करने वाले हैं तो वो एंटरप्राइज में यू मस्ट हैव दिस इंटरपर्सनल स्किल तो जॉब तो मिल जाएगा पर जॉब में टक्कर देने के लिए आपको ये सब चाहिए राइट तो उसके लिए भी आप बहुत सारे प्लेटफॉर्म Yeah. 
ideas into the practical and workable platforms like NVIDIA, 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 and so many others. So, uh, it was a great pleasure and honor to listening to your deliberations, sir. And uh, uh, we are much delighted to have you in this second session. Uh, right now, uh, I would like to have a couple of questions from the participants. I request all. Uh, I request the participant to unmute uh, to unmute yourself and ask your question one by one. If you have any question. Yeah, it is. 
Dr. Meghan Shah, he is a program officer in the field of communicable diseases, Daman DNA genetics. Let's continue today and we will get back tomorrow at 11 o'clock. And thank you so much for showing your kind patience and active learning. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Let's call it a day, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay.